are at Mount Fuji. Hey guys, my name is Chino. My name is Alex. And welcome to Chino, Chino and Alex. Alex. So we've made it here at Lake Kawaguchiko, which is actually very nearby uh, Mount Fuji. So we've just made it to our accommodation, which is right here. Here. Look at so that. we're staying here at Togawaso. It's just a traditional ryokan, and we really want to show you yeah. what it looks like because this is our first ryokan experience. Yeah, that's right. Um, but yeah, so let's go in. Let's head in. So this is the entrance. Take off your shoes. That's right. Like every Japanese home, you gotta take off your shoes, and you wear the slippers or a wabaki. <laughs> there you go. And uh, this is like the lobby area. Okay, super spacious, but... So we're gonna show you the common area where you can have tea, coffee, and then the fridge as well. Yeah, look at that. Look at this. This is so nice. <laughs> Very traditional. Yeah. This is a big space for everyone in the morning and, you know, all throughout the day for them to hang out. Now we're gonna show you our traditional Ryokun room. Alright, we'll leave our wabaki down here. But this is our room. Look at this. Wow, nice look at the bed. So crazy. Kind of cute, huh? <laughs> and it's actually pretty spacious. Mm -hmm. So um, we've been staying at like tiny hotels in Tokyo, in Kyoto, but now in Fuji, it's pretty big. And and the best part, show them. And the best part is if you can see, we have Mount Fuji right there. It is a little bit cloudy, so it's hidden. But tomorrow, hopefully, it's gonna clear up and it's gonna show the Fuji. We just found out we have these traditional robes. We wanna give them a try and maybe take photos yeah, in it too. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. But yeah, I really love this Ryokan experience. I highly recommend that you try at least one Ryokan experience because it truly gives that authentic Japanese culture and you experience it for yourself. So now we're just gonna rest because we've been traveling the past couple days and it's getting pretty exhausting. We're on the final leg of our adventure, so we'll show you what we got up to tomorrow. Wow, you guys, Fujisan is out. Look at that. Clear day. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Guys, what a wonderful day. The sun is out, like I said earlier, but it's also not cold. It's just nice and warm today, so I'm so excited to get out. Alex is getting ready, I'm gonna get ready now, and then we'll see you in a little bit. Good morning. morning! So we're actually here at Yagasaki Park. This is our first stop of the day and uh, we, we're not too sure how we're gonna get around. We do have bikes so we'll, we'll see how far that can take us around um, but we're currently here at the famous Lake Kawaguchiko of Mount Fuji. We're literally staying near here. Yeah like, like literally our accommodation is right next to the water. Yeah. Like a 20 second walk. So um, let's go and explore this park a little. The sun is out and look at the autumn leaves you guys. It's so oh. beautiful! It wasn't like this in Kyoto and um, we couldn't see yeah. much in Tokyo at all. It's an urban jungle, but here... You can really tell that it's now autumn here yeah. in Mount Fuji. So uh, yeah, let's go and we'll show you around. As you can see, you guys, it is stunning out here at Yagasaki Park because you're literally right next to Lake Kawaguchiko. Check this out. I mean, look how beautiful the leaves are. It's such a good photo spot here. Oh my gosh, the water looks so silky right now. It's like little waves and stuff. That's so nice. The craziest part is we're staying here, like we're just over there, you know, like 30 second walk. Um, look wow, at that. Wow, that looks like a postcard. Yeah, oh my goodness. This is actually a common stop on a lot of the tours. We were looking at videos last night and I was like, wait, this place right behind our accommodation is one of those stops for all, a lot of these tours.
All right, you guys, so this is the view behind us, Lake Kawaguchiko. Look at that panoramic views of the lake. It's just stunning. And this is the park that we were walking around at. So yeah, as you can see, the colors are popping and it's looking beautiful right now. So this park is super open. You can really see yeah. the lake and then the Mount Fuji behind us. Uh, it's a bit shy, so it's fine. Yeah. And um, we'll show you that later. I feel like even if you just do a day trip, you can literally just go to Lake Kawaguchiko. Yeah, it's awesome here, you guys. Highly recommend coming by Yagasaki Park for a view of Mount Fuji and the lake. Yo, look at our whip. <laughs> so this is what we've been using to go around Fuji and it's actually really nice. The area is nice for strolling and biking. Mm -hmm. So we're truly enjoying it yeah, and we have that. the view, so. So nice. Super chill like riding these bikes. So we just made it here at the Kawaguchiko Cheesecake Garden where yeah. we'll be having our first brunch. Pretty much brunch. Uh, we're gonna grab coffee and of course Alex's favorite cheesecake. So yeah. uh, let's head on in and let's see their options. Perfect. It looks so good. It smells good too. What's that? So, oh yeah, these are our selections. So we have lemon cheesecake, and then fluffy cheesecake, and mm -hmm. then I guess the burnt cheesecake as well. Yeah. And we got a couple coffees with it. Uh, it comes it's free. free. Yeah. yeah. So good. So we've made it to our next stop, which is the Fuji Panoramic Ropeway. It was literally like a 10 second bike ride. From the coffee. From the cheesecake coffee place. So yeah, we're gonna go in. Um, it's only 900 yen to use this ropeway. And um, yeah, we'll show you what it's like. This is the uh, awesome thing in Japan, is that almost everything you can use, vending machines, or just machines in general to pay for food, even tickets here. So let's go buy our tickets. So we're pretty much at the viewpoint, super quick. But once again, Fuji is still hiding. We've been hoping that the clouds clear up kind of like this morning, but that's all good. We've also got like telescopes and stuff if you want to get a zoom, like a super zoomed in view of Fuji or of the, of the clouds. <laughs> Alex is gonna give the telescope a go, even though like as you can see, it's Ooh. just clouds. So. Oh shoot, I can see the city. Oh really? Yeah. It's quite a bit to buy up here. There's also an ice cream shop right next to it, so it's a bit warm out there. So we might get a, probably, we'll probably get some ice cream. Fuji's gonna come out, but we'll wait it out a little bit here since we're already up here. I'm just enjoying this ice cream because it's surprisingly warm, you know? Like the whole day has been pretty bright and sunny. It's clear here, but there's a lot of clouds at Fuji, so it's kind of annoying. So you can actually also go up on the roof and they've got an unobstructed view of Mount Fuji up there. And there's also a swing. 
So if you want to play around and there's a swing up there. All right, what does it say? There's a bell behind us, right? So I just translated it and apparently it descends from the tradition granting at marriage and health by ringing the bell. So I mean, I just want to ring the bell anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to we're going to ring the bell. Yeah, we spent a decent amount of time here, but Fuji's just not showing up. We're now gonna head back down, and I will show you uh, the restaurant that we'll be eating at for lunch. Okay, so we just made it here at Hotofudo, which is a restaurant just across Kawaguchiko Station. We're gonna have our lunch here, and apparently it's really famous for tourists as well, so since it's an easy access from the station. So let's go in. And one, this one. <laughs> this is a vegetable soup, miso soup. Mm. And it smells... Are thick. It is so hot. Thick with the double it's so Ooh. thick. <gasps> Look. Wow. I think it's udon, but flat. Mm. Yeah, and it's so much veggies. I'm actually loving noodles here in Japan, so... Look how big this is. <laughs> is it big in the camera? Huge, yeah. <laughs> You've got your food. Yeah, so I've got um, pork and rice. This is like a, a rice bowl with a bit of salad as well. And we've got extra right here for Alex slash probably mine. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that's what we ordered. It's actually quite a lot, hey? Yeah, big mm. bowl. Yeah, this is oh, huge the bowl. Right? And I thought that bowl was big. Yeah. Yeah, so this is what we're going to have for lunch before we go to our next destination. Okay, so we're now back at Kawaguchiko Station. You actually have to catch a train uh, for this next spot that we're visiting. So yeah, as you can see, the sun is nice and bright. It's actually heading towards golden hour, so that's super exciting. We're hoping the conditions get better because so far we haven't really shown you uh, Mount Fuji. <laughs> so we're hoping by the end of this vlog you actually get to see it. So let's, uh, let's catch our train. So we're gonna go to the train now. I think it's just a few stops. It's not too far. Yeah. And we're on platform two for this one. Yeah. They said local train or something. Yeah. Um, not the express one. But we're not far. Is this the right train? <laughs> it's the only train, eh? Hey? Yeah. 20 minutes later. So we have made it to Shimayoshida Station, and this is where we saw our walk to. Charita Pagoda. It's this famous pagoda. You'll see it when we get there, you'll know what I mean. When you think of Mount Fuji in Japan, and they've also got like... Instructions how to get there. Yeah, kind of like a map. So let me show you, put it on screen. And uh, yeah, take a screenshot if you want, or you'll see it here anyway. So a bit of the walk was actually on roads where cars drive on. Um, but now we're on the path where there's like stairs. It's kind of a bit of a dirt path as well. And this is where you know that you're on the way to the pagoda. This is what our path looks like. So we've got stairs now. And these autumn leaves are stunning. Look at that. Oh yeah, we forgot to mention, it's a bit of a lengthy walk. We've now opted for the road. So there's a road here, which is obviously a lot less steep than the, the stairs. stairs. But we are approaching golden hour. Like, as you can see, let me, look at that. The golden so lighting. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, finally you guys. I don't know how long it took. It says 20 minutes on Google Maps, but we have made it here to Toreto Pagoda. Pagoda. I hope we're saying it right. I hope we're not butchering the name. This is the world famous location here in Japan, specifically uh, Mount Fuji area. And there's actually a different viewpoint where you not only can you see the pagoda, but Mount Fuji itself. Right now, Mount Fuji is still covered with clouds. 
and we're, we're losing sun very quickly. It's now sunset. So it is 4.04 currently. Yeah. And it is getting a little bit dark now, actually. Yeah. So. Yeah, we're going to head on up to the viewpoint and we'll check out the view from up there. Unfortunately, there's more clouds right now. Take a look. Yeah, <laughs> it's hiding it's some cloudy. more. It was clearing up a little bit when we were on the train ride, but it's completely covered up right now. And we've got like half an hour till sunset. I've seen so many incredible photos from this very viewpoint with the pagoda and Mount Fuji. <sighs> Unfortunately, the conditions aren't in our favor today. I mean, this is a stunning sunset, so I'm loving this view. <sighs> it's incredible to finally see it with my own eyes. Wow, you definitely have to come here and hope for the best. Hope that the weather is in peak condition. have to end the vlog here now. We did spend quite a bit of time here at Charetto Pagoda, mm. but I'm really <laughs> bummed out Damn because it. you couldn't see Mount Fuji yeah. clearly. There was just clouds all day. Like we got to see it ourselves like yesterday and this morning as yeah. well. I like, guess you just have to come here on your own. I want to come back here too. <laughs> yeah, we want to come back here again. Fuji is a different feeling from what we've done yeah. so far here in Japan. So I highly recommend you come here because honestly, I feel like it could be my favorite place. Yeah. It's like so yeah. like relaxing, slow life, calming. Like I was telling Alex when we were on our bikes, it's like, oh, this feels like the island life almost. Yeah. When but we're in the colder. Philippines. <laughs> yeah, but just, just a lot colder than the tropics, obviously. We had an incredible time here at uh, Fiji, Lake Kawaguchiko. Anyway, you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this series, this whole Japan series. This is actually our last vlog for the series. And um, wow, what a bittersweet ending, right? Like everywhere in Japan has been such a dream. Feels like time flies by so fast yeah. because like everything, every day is just a new experience, Yeah. right? And uh, it just blew our minds away. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. And uh, hit the post notification bells as well so you don't miss out on future uploads even though there's no more Japan series. That's okay, we'll have more. <laughs> we'll see you soon. All right, bye guys. Mm -hmm.